Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, in all my many years of working in the retail industry and in pet stores, helping out with wholesalers, all those years of traveling and seeing aquariums all over the world, I get asked the same question quite often. How many fish can I put in my aquarium? And one would think that this could be a very easy question to answer. You know, you have certain dimensions of an aquarium and certain dimensions of fish. Seems pretty straightforward. But the question is actually much more complex. So today, let's talk about it. Now, first and foremost, our goal should always be to strive to provide the absolute best environment that we can for the animals in our care. They depend entirely on us for their survival. And understanding their needs far exceeds just the size of an aquarium or how many fish we can keep within. But for today's topic, we're only going to address the latter. So how many fish can I put in my aquarium? I'm sure most of us over the years have been told the one inch per gallon rule or that some fish will only grow to the confines of their environment. Both of which statements couldn't be farther from the truth. Let me explain. With the incredible diversity of species of tropical fish available to us today, this question requires us to look into a multitude of factors. The adult size of which the fish can obtain or grow. This is of critical importance not the size that they are currently. Their natural habitat. Is it a blackwater species? These animals often inhabit water with extremely unique water chemistry, very low dissolved oxygen. Or is it perhaps a species that comes from a very rheophilic or very fast, highly oxygenated water system? Environmental constraints such as water chemistry and temperature aggression levels, and many, many more. Each individual species of tropical fish may require vastly different things. So let's go back to the original one inch of fish per gallon. With ideal filtration, regular maintenance, and upkeep with say small kerosens, such as perhaps neon tetras or cardinals as seen here. Now a dozen or so of these in a 15 to say 20 gallon aquarium, along with some members of small members of a cleanup crew, may work very, very well. However, would you consider using that same rule for say an Oscar? A large gregarious cichlid hailing from South America that easily reaches a foot in size. This same aquarium, honestly, regardless of filtration or upkeep, in my opinion, is woefully too small. As well, the factors mentioned above, such as the factors such as temperature, can greatly influence a species metabolism and how much waste it produces. Albeit they're tropical fish, but fish are truly cold water species and they are influenced greatly. All their metabolism is driven by the temperature of their environment. Goldfish are a perfect example as they are factually, truly cold water fishes. By keeping them indoors in our homes in slightly elevated temperatures, even though we keep them at room temperature, they are more inefficient at metastasizing their food intake, giving these fish the moniker in the trade as being dirty fish. We couldn't be further from the truth. Goldfish are no dirtier than any other species. It's the fact that we are keeping them incorrectly. We are to blame not the fish. Understanding the needs of each species comes full circle when one wants to say keep the Mbuna cichlids of the great African rift lakes. In many aquariums, most of them are maligned as being hyper aggressive, but this is primarily a factor of us not understanding their basic needs. The old rule used to be that we should crowd the fish in order to reduce aggression. However often, this may very well have the reverse effect. 
If one were to spend the time to research their natural habitat and do one's best to mimic it within the confines of their, their aquarium and maintain a slightly less but more healthier stocking level, the aggression level is often greatly diminished. Now we should also address the misconception that fish will only grow to the size of their aquarium. This fish pictured here is a pleco, hypostomous pleco, and is one of the worst fish in the trade for being uh, abused with this fake rule. Fish will not grow to the size of their aquarium. They will grow to within the capacity that the aquarium can withstand or hold, and then they will languish and die. So it's not a fair rule. It's up to us to provide the proper conditions and the proper sized housing for said fish. We need to be conscious of all organic matter that is contained within this aquarium. Be it the fish, their waste products, any invertebrates such as snails or shrimp. If we're doing live planted aquarium, any of the leaves that should be discarded from the plants. These are all waste products and need to be controlled. The filters build need to maintain the water quality, but they can't do it without our help. So as you see, it really isn't a question that can be easily answered by a simple formula. We need to retrain ourselves, providing the largest aquarium as you can, as the larger the volume of water maintains water chemistry stability longer. Do not skimp on the life support. I cannot stress this enough. I find it odd that everybody has no problem spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars acquiring some of the most unique species on the planet. However, when it comes to buying a good quality filtration system for the aquarium, they seem to feel that this is an area where they should cut corners. Stop. The filtration and heating equipment are not the place to save a few dollars. They are literally the life support and lives depend on it. And most importantly, do your research into the fish you wish to keep. You'll have to prioritize, as we all can't keep everything. I know many of you want to try, but let's be realistic. Choose the ones that you like best, that work best within the confines of the aquarium you can provide. And if you follow these basic guidelines, I'm sure you'll have a lifetime of enjoying your aquarium. So as always, my friends, thank you kindly for watching. Till next time, take care.